Well, Diane, it's just struck me how many, you know, unique, original, uh, very needed ideas that you're bringing to the table in this race, which is why I just thought it was so, you know, infuriating and annoying um, that in a recent New York Times uh, profile of the candidates, they kind of just reduced your entire candidacy down to a joke you made saying that you preferred to eat edible cannabis versus smoke it, you know, obviously yeah. commenting on the um, legalization debate as, you know, any candidate for mayor should. And um, again, they, they basically reduced your candidacy down to that joke. And I was just wondering if you could uh, maybe discuss or uh, speak to some of the racism you've experienced already in this race, not only uh, from maybe the expected sources, but also from, you know, liberal media outlets, places like yeah. the New York Times. Yeah. Yeah. How much time do you guys have? <laughs> we're in no, we're not in any trouble. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess, my, you know, my point is like, uh, it has been um, not surprising, right? Because I am a black woman in this country. So I've, I've lived with it all my life. And also um, really, really frustrating and disappointing and, um, infuriating if I'm being totally honest um you know in that New York Times piece the the fascinating thing about that was that it was the first time that they actually deigned to um write more than one sentence about my candidacy it was two sentences in the first um edition they, they later added a third sentence um but the you know of the two sentences one was sort of like Diane is a former executive of a nonprofit, and the second one was when asked at a recent forum she you know she, about cannabis, she said she preferred edibles. Um, and the, the thing about that was um, every candidate was asked that same question, every candidate. And every candidate except for one essentially implied that they had indulged, they, you know, whatever. I was the only candidate that they, whose response they highlighted. Shocker. Right? Um, and to have that be the first time that they actually speak about me. Um, but the, you know, the erasure actually, so, so, so this, this is the problem when they actually start to acknowledge you. But before that you deal with the erasure. Um, and the first time, and the, the Times has been particularly guilty of this. The media writ large has been problematic, but the Times has been particularly guilty. Um, and that was in January of 2020 when they wrote about another candidate dropping out of the race. Um, he was the only other Latino um, and when he dropped out, they wrote that leaves no other Latino in the race. And at that point, I'd been in the race for several wow, months. Wow, that's disgraceful. 